All right, May 13th kicks off the Christopher Reeve Legacy Reunion at Motor City Comic Con. Stars from all four Reeve Superman films will come together to meet fans and celebrate their time on screen with an icon on film and in life. Eric Legrand was a superstar in college football and like Reeve became an even bigger superhero in life. Take a look. Eric, welcome. Your story uh, touches us on so many levels. So we wanted to start by just take us back to 2010 and describe what happened on the football field. Yeah, we were playing at MetLife Stadium versus the Army Black Knights. We had just tied the game up 17 and 17 in the fourth quarter. And I was running down on the kickoff to make a play. And unfortunately, I lowered my head thinking it wasn't going to be the tackle at all. I thought it was going to be my shoulder. But my teammate actually tripped up Malcolm Brown, the player that I tackled, and his body twirled in the air in the crown of my head and right into the back of his shoulder blade. And he fractured his collarbone, and I fractured my C3-C4 vertebrae, and I laid on the turf paralyzed that day. I didn't really black out until I got into the ambulance, so I remember being on the field, the trainers coming running from and running over to me, my coach coming to look down at me and telling me I have to pray being carted off the field, trying to give a thumbs up to the crowd and not able to move my hand and then getting put in the ambulance and from there they put an oxygen mask on me and I was ignorant to the fact that what an oxygen mask actually does for you. I'm thinking once they put this on I'll be able to take that deep inhale and exhale out but I couldn't and I think I freaked myself out so much that I blacked out and I only remember bits and pieces until I finally started to come through that following Wednesday and this injury happened on a Saturday. And, and that I know that was October of, of 2010 and I always find the, the part of your story so remarkable about where things were at Thanksgiving time for you and very determined that you wanted to, to, to breathe on your own. I sure did. I, that's all I I really couldn't sleep at the ventilator making the noise that it was making and I remember asking my respiratory therapist a few weeks after my injury, saying, can you please take this respirator light out, the ventilator out, so I could just try to fall asleep for a few minutes so the noise would go away. And she took me off the ventilator. I'm not going to lie, I felt like I just got done running the New York City Marathon, but I was breathing on my home. And uh, from there, she said, okay, maybe we are ready to wean you off. And two weeks later, I was, fully, I was off the ventilator. I was not vent dependent anymore and breathing on my own. Eric, to make the progress you have made, and really it's against what many thought you'd be able to do, can you just talk about what doctors said you wouldn't be able to do and now what you can do, and how? How did you make these things happen? You know, through faith, hard work, and determination, coming off the ventilator was huge, obviously. You know, being vent dependent is just, the quality of life is just so much different. From there, being able to have a full solid meal that Thanksgiving is, as you mentioned earlier, with my family, that was, you know, amazing. I didn't have any feeding tubes. I passed all the swallowing tests. And it was just amazing to be able to have that Thanksgiving dinner with my family. And then I started to get some, you know, movement back in my full range of motion, my neck, shoulders, yeah. shimmy shaking. So it started to come back for me slowly but surely. And uh, just keep on working everything else. I'll leave it in God's hands. Talk a little bit about carrying forward the, the Christopher Reeve legacy. People often talk about how his real journey and his uh, real act of heroism happened after his accident. It sure did, you know, it's funny because I originally, I, when I got injured, the Christopher and Nana Reeve Foundation, they reached out from the jump to start helping with whatever I needed, my family needed. They were there from the beginning and I actually didn't know who Christopher Reeve was because I was born in 1990. Oh, no, so don't tell Jay about, Towers that. Don't tell me that. I'm, I, I, my heart hurts, hurts a little him. bit. <laughs> so, Jay, I did my, after my mom looked at me like I, I had six heads, I did my <laughs> research on him and I said, wow, what a remarkable man. And then I went back and I had to start, you know, learning exactly who Christopher Reeve was and amazing work him and Dana did for the foundation and spinal cord injury. Research and what, and what made me want to take part of in the forum, Team LeGrand, was just his mission of a world with empty wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. And I feel like how that legacy has been passed on to me. And I'm just so excited to be a part of it. And I know we're going to get there. We call it, we're going to get in the end zone and find that cure for paralysis all through the work that Christopher and Dana did. Eric, I just want to ask you, how do you mentally, because there's a physical component, of course, there's also a huge mental component. Um, how do you maintain that mental toughness and that faith? I, so I, I, I really go by that being an athlete has helped me so much. Because you think about it, in football, you get 
so many opportunities to actually play the game of football. Yeah. All the other times you're working, you're grinding, testing yourself, challenging yourself. The mental aspect that goes into that day in and day out sets you up for life. And when this injury happened to me, yes, my world was flipped and turned upside down, but I felt like I've been, I honed in on all those skills that developed over the years and all those characteristics that, you know, I look at it that same way, just things may be tough, but you can get through it. Oh man, it was such a pleasure to talk to him and to learn from him. And one thing that Eric teaches us and what we learned from Christopher Reeve, many people don't realize this, but it was years after his injury where he started to show signs of progress. Right. And it is largely thought that was in due to Christopher Reeve being so physically active, like working so hard, treadmill therapies and all sorts of things. And so that's why uh, it's significant that the, the Reeve Foundation has helped to contribute to this adaptive fitness center at the U of M in order to make sure that uh, people at all ability levels have the opportunity yeah. to exercise and keep seeing signs of progress. Forget what the science and the literature says. Forget sometimes what the doctors tell you. Um, sometimes it, it takes this incredible mental attitude that we saw with Eric and also with Christopher Reeve to make this happen. By the way, you can learn more about the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation at ChristopherReeve.org. It's a good website with a lot of resources. I want to do this too, because this is exciting. Something that we can unveil this morning that we've been working on for months. This is a special variant cover of a comic book, Superman 78, that will benefit the Reeve Foundation. It's only available at Motor City Comic Con. Uh, Superman is drawn by artist Wilfredo Torres, and as you can see, he is holding up a cab in front of the historic Fox Theater Look at that. on Woodward. As far as I know, I don't know of, of Superman in this version, a Christopher Reeve version of Superman in comics in front of a Detroit landmark like this. So it's pretty exciting to have this comic book that will only be available at Comic-Con and helps to Reef Foundation. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It's um, it's an amazing uh, just the collaboration between so your love of Superman and uh, this love of helping others. Eric Legrand wanting so much to. How can you not be a fan of that guy I now mean, for life? To share his story again mm. and again and share little, little bits. You know, when he moves his neck like that and moves his shoulders, that is uh, uh, years of hard work and incredible progress. Yeah. So and To breathe um, on his own, too, is just unbelievable. Yeah. All right.